Welcome to AVLA Homeschool. My name is Mrs. Schartz. I am the parent partner for AVLA Homeschool. Today we'd like to present an orientation on what to expect when you are homeschooling your child. The goals of this presentation are to make you aware of what to expect when teaching your own scholar at home. I hope to clarify the roles and responsibilities of everyone involved. You will be responsible for teaching your scholar at home. And we also want to point out supports available to you, the parent or guardian, in teaching your scholar at home. Education does begin in the home, no matter the circumstances, if your child is in a seat-based school or if you're choosing to homeschool your child. Congratulations, you have now been upgraded from parent guardian to your scholar's homeschool teacher. As your scholar's homeschool teacher, you will teach your scholar at home the required state standards using the instructional materials that our school, AVLA Homeschool, provides. The instructional materials are designed for you to provide a minimum of five hours of learning a day for your scholar. You will be supported by and coached by an instructional coach. You are required to attend weekly coaching meetings that are to be held to monitor your scholar's progress in learning and to offer you, the homeschool teacher, any support you need in educating your scholar at home. So who is who and who does what? We're going to define the roles of everybody now. Here at AVLA Homeschool, we are WASC accredited public school of choice. We have met all the requirements as all the other schools and colleges in California to be a public school. We do provide special education services for scholars with individualized education plans. We adhere to the California Department of Education regulations. The scholar does all the learning at home and the parent and guardian must provide direct instruction for the scholar. The instructional coach. The instructional coach is a supervising teacher who is a credentialed teacher, fully credentialed in the state of California. The instructional coach evaluates your scholar's progress in learning. The instructional coach coaches you, the homeschool teacher, and supports you in the weekly curriculum. The instructional coach holds the weekly coaching meeting with the scholar and you, the homeschool teacher, as well as administering benchmark and state testing. The parent partner is me, Mrs. Schartz. I am a additional school site resource for you, the homeschool parent. I support the homeschool teacher in understanding the curriculum. I support you, the homeschool teacher, in using the curriculum to teach your scholar at home. The scholar. The scholar is the child who is taught at home. The scholar fully participates in being instructed from their homeschool teacher, you, the parent or guardian. The scholar will complete all assignments in their own handwriting. The scholar will come to the weekly coaching meetings because they will be required to demonstrate their learning and discuss their learning and answer questions with the instructional coach. The homeschool teacher is the home educator or the parent or guardian who is going to be providing daily instruction to the scholar. A minimum of five hours of instruction per day is required. The homeschool teacher will check scholars' work for accuracy and understanding. What does this mean? This means that you will use the provided resources to make sure your child has met the understanding and accuracy requirements after you have taught them at home. You cannot let this go more than a day. Your child needs immediate feedback. Once they learn something, it's really hard for it to be unlearned. So it is important and imperative that you check your scholars' work and make sure they understand what's being taught and they have a certain level of accuracy or correctedness. The homeschool teacher will seek support from their instructional coach. You cannot wait for the weekly meeting for this to happen. You must reach out to your instructional coach to get some help. You will bring your scholar and you will attend the weekly coaching meeting with your instructional coach. Not completing work is not a reason to skip the meeting. What are AVLA Homeschool's expectations? I've been talking about teaching and instructing. What does that mean? Well, the homeschool teacher, which is you, the parent or guardian, must give direct instruction, guided practice, and independent practice. What we call I do, 
We do, you do. Direct instruction is what I'm doing right now. I am giving you the information. I am teaching you the skill that you need to know to be successful. You as the homeschool teacher will instruct or teach your scholar the skills and concepts that are presented in the weekly learning packets that you are given. This is the I do. Guided practice, that is when you invite the scholar to practice with you the skill and concepts. This is the we do. You're going to do a couple problems with your scholar to check for understanding and make sure they get what you've been trying to teach in your direct instruction. And lastly, you will give your scholar time for independent practice even at the kindergarten level. The scholar will now complete activities on their own and the home school teacher will check the scholar's work for understanding. That is the you do. And it's very important in the independent practice that you allow your scholar some time and space to solve those problems, read the problem, and you show that you trust them by giving them that space. You come back together at the end and you check for understanding and accuracy. If it's not there, then you start the process over. If you've done this and you're still not getting your scholar to show some kind of understanding, that's when you reach out to your instructional coach. What is attendance? I'm teaching my kid at home. What is attendance? What do you mean I have attendance requirements? Attending the weekly coaching meetings is mandatory. If you come late more than 10 minutes, you will be rescheduled and it will not be convenient for you. When you enroll with us, we give you a meeting time and an instructional coach, and that is your time every single week. It does not change. You need to plan for 30 minutes. If your scholar has services from an IEP, that appointment length will reflect their personalized plan and reflect what's in the IEP. So on top of coming each week, on time and being there for 30 minutes, you will be turning in completed learning modules. These are the packets that we give you each week to teach your child at home. The other component to attendance is completing the required testing of NWA and state testing. It is important to note that if you miss an appointment for the weekly coaching meeting, that that is worth five days. That means you're absent for five days. If you miss one instructional meeting, a learning period, or a month, that equates to 50 school days of being missed. Your child becomes truant at that point. So attendance is mandatory and it's based on coming to the meetings on time and coming with completed work and coming to our testing. Scholars learn best with a consistent routine. It is important that you take time to review and prepare your scholar's work. You will be teaching your scholar five hours a day. It is important that you set time for yourself to know what you'll be teaching each day and go over the material that was provided to you by your instructional coach. How you set up your day is your business, but it must equate to five hours a day. You're in control of your schedule. What we're going to provide are samples. These samples are designed for you to see how much time is needed to educate your child at home. This first sample is for grades kindergarten through fifth grade or elementary school. In the yellow box, you see that there is required number of hours and minutes for each subject. Reading has the most. In this grades K through five, it is very important that your child is spending two hours being engaged in learning and interacting with activities on language arts or reading. And language arts includes reading books, reading daily independent reading, writing, spelling, grammar, responding to questions on the stories they're reading. So there's a lot that goes into the language arts and reading programs. That's why it takes two hours. Math, math is not an easy subject either. It requires an hour and a half every day because you're going to need to make sure your child reviews their facts at the end of the day. Science is designed to be 30 to 45 minutes three times a week, and social studies is designed to be taught an hour twice a week. PE is required 20 minutes a day, and that is just going for a walk, shooting some hoops, jump rope, whatever. For 20 minutes, the child should be physically active. Now, as you can see, there's some times laid out. It is a standard school day, 8.30 to 3 o'clock. You can see that we gave a sample there of doing math and taking a break, doing some language arts, taking a break. At the end of the day, there's also time for what I had mentioned before about the math review and also the reading review. We have programs designed to support your kids in what we call spiral learning and reviewing over and over concepts that make them stronger. 
This next slide is for middle schools, which are grades six through eight. It looks a little different. They're older. In the green box, you will see the required number of hours per subject that is needed for a child to make successful growth. English language art is an hour and a half. Math is an hour and a half. Science is one, science and social are each one hour a day and PE has bumped up to 40 minutes. The difference with middle school is, is that they're gonna have outside of their instructional time, they're gonna have student focus time to review and to do daily independent reading. We have IXL for math practice and we do want our students reading a novel of their choice for 15 minutes a day. Now in middle school, if work has not been completed as assigned by the homeschool teacher in the time frame it becomes homework or unfinished work and they should be expected to complete it after school hours the sample schedule we provide is very similar to what a child would see if they were in a seat-based school with the exception of we do not have elective so there's more time to dive into the language arts and into the math to really understand that these are crucial times in middle school they are learning pre-algebraic geometric and algebraic concepts and math and they're learning to be analytic readers in language arts so they need that hour and a half basic learning supplies that are needed you will are now running school at home you need to make sure that you have the materials that we listed on this slide to be successful they need paper and pencils and crayons and markers and all those fun things middle school they recommend graph paper as well as a compass and protractor due to the nature of the math that they will be seeing Weekly coaching meeting with your instructional coach. What to know? What, is, what's, what are you going to do in those 30 minutes? I would like to preface it by saying this is your time with your instructional coach. It is important that you have communicated throughout the week with your instructional coach things that you need or support so that person can prepare for you. Also know that this really should be kept to the homeschool teacher and their scholar. We really try and maintain a very focused and safe space for our scholars and we ask that your appointment times are kept to yourself and your scholar. Please be organized and prepared. What does that mean? That means your scholar's paperwork and those packets that we give you should have their name on them with anything else the instructional coach asks, such as the subject and the module number. Make sure that you clearly have language arts in one pile, math in another pile, science and social studies. Don't just throw them all together have an organizational system. Please be prepared. And what does that look like? Have all of your scholars works graded. We do provide you the support for that to be grading and reviewing your child's work. That packet should come back with marks from you and corrections from your scholar so that we know that you've looked at it and you've engaged in learning. It's okay, if it comes back with nothing, then we don't know how to help. Come back with marks on it. Put some question marks on there. Mark it wrong. Have your scholar cross it off and fix it. We know you've engaged in learning. It should look pretty ugly and messy when it comes to us. Bring any materials that you need support with or have questions with you don't understand. Come prepared with those. Put sticky notes on pages that your, your scholar has done. Your instructional coach is also going to be asking questions of your scholar. So definitely review some things with your scholar before you come to the weekly instructional meeting. Testing is required. We are required by our authorizers of Palmdale as well as the state of California. You will participate in all state testing. Physical fitness testing, grades five, seven, and nine. That is where they go out and run a mile. They do some sit-ups, some push-ups. We offer a day, we go to the park, and we do it all in one day. We also do the state testing, as does everybody else. The CASP, grades three to 12. We also provide the LPAC, which is for our English language learners. We do monitor their progression in learning the English language, and they will, they will be assessed throughout the year. We are also required by our authorizers to administer the NWEA testing in language arts and math. This is taken traditionally at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year, but we may use it throughout the year to help support instruction. This test here gives us a lot of good data on where your scholar is and what skills they're ready to learn and what skills they need to review. We give it to grades second through 11th grade. Our curriculum, ABLA curriculum, what to know. So what do we provide you? We provide the homeschool teacher answer keys and guides. We provide textbooks and workbooks. We have online supports. We have on-site tutors. We also have paraprofessionals for students with services. We also have a wonderful program called Literacy Tree. 
which is geared towards the science of reading for kindergarten through fifth. We also have on-site small group instruction for first grade twice a week in math and language arts. So we have assignment guides for the scholars. It looks different for each grade level set. In grades K, one and two, the scholar assignment guides also provides the homeschool teacher with detailed directions on how to instruct their child at home, as well as sample answers. In grades three through eight, there's two documents. There is the assignment guide that tells you what your scholars should be working on every day. And then you also have an instructional support guide that helps you as the homeschool teacher instruct your child on the different types of skills that need to be taught. In grades three through uh, eight, we have the homeschool teacher instructional guides that go through all the different skills that you're going to see and have to teach your scholar at home. In grades six through eight, we go a step further and there is a definite clear answer key to help support you in instructing your middle schooler at home because we all know it gets tricky in middle school. As I mentioned, we have on-site first grade small group instruction it is mandatory for our first graders. We are going to be providing twice a week small group instruction for our first graders on site. There'll be two sessions offered morning or afternoon. We'll do our best to coordinate that with your weekly instructional coaching meeting and we'll be engaging your scholar in learning reading and math to support that instruction. Please note this does not replace instruction at home. It just helps you with that instruction. Online support. We have different supports for different grade levels. Um, on the left, I have reading aids, and this is like a hooked on phonics program. This is for mostly grades K to three, but it helps with that learning those sounds and letters and blends to get them to get your scholar learning. On the right, we have IXL, and it, we focus usually only on math for this because it offers great videos, but it also offers support for language arts, science, and social studies. This is for K through eighth grade. Most of our curriculum programs do offer online supports. Uh, language arts has one, science has one, and social studies that helps support you instruct your scholar at home. Literacy Tree. This is a small group instruction online program that meets three times a week for 45 minutes. There are two classes and one support session. If you are selected for this, it is mandatory that you make all three sessions. It is done on the computer and it is called the Science of Reading. It's sequential, explicit, funnest instruction designed to fill in those gaps. It works very sequentially through the reading foundation processes that enable your child to make growth. Our school operates on a traditional school calendar. We are in session for 10 months. We break them into 10 learning periods of about three to four weeks. Each learning period, your instructional coach is required to provide work samples as well as attendance logs to our school in which the state uses to evaluate that we are doing what we say we're doing. You are required to fill out attendance logs saying, yes, I did instruct my child for these days. If you fail to come into a meeting or turn in work during a learning period, that's zero attendance and that's 20 days of school. Like I mentioned earlier, if you miss one instructional coaching meeting, that's five days of school you're absent. If you miss one a learning period, that equates to 50 days of absence and this is where we get it results in truancy and we can refer you back to your um, home district. We have a code of conduct while you are visiting our educational space. Your words and behavior matter. AVLA is a place of learning where everyone deserves to be treated with respect, courtesy, and kindness. Please be mindful of the energy that you bring into our learning center. Your words, actions, and presentation matter. It ensures that we are all aligned with the same professional standards that best support the learning environment for all of our scholars. It is important that when you walk through our doors to the learning center that we leave all of the frustrations of life behind. We take a deep breath and we sit down with our instructional coach and we have an open, clear, honest dialogue using the proper respectful terms and words and we are coming ready to learn and ready to accept help. How do we communicate? How do we let you know things are going on? Well, when you enroll, you give us an email and a cell phone number. We use those to make sure that your instructional coach has those to contact you. We also have an L4L Connect 
Parent Square app where we send out blasts that give you information of what's happening on campus. You will get a direct line to your instructional coach. You will, the student will also receive an email that can be used to communicate with your instructional coach. And we have a really neat thing called the Parent Padlet. It's going to put all the flyers and resources you need in one spot so that if you forget something that was sent out on the uh, L4L Connect, you can look it up. We are very excited to partner with you. Uh, on the screen, there's information about where we are and the phone number you can call regarding our uh, enrollment process. Thank you for joining us for our enrollment presentation. We hope this information has been helpful to you. And if this is the place where you would like your child to learn and you would like to homeschool your child, the information on the screen can direct you further.